Grey Coupon is a brand of whole grain mustard and Dijon mustard which originated in Dijon, France. The U.S. rights to the brand were acquired by the Hoibline Company, later passing on to Kraft Foods. Grey Coupon became popular in the United States in the late 1970s and 1980s as American tastes broadened from conventional American yellow mustards. Like other Dijon mustards, Grey Coupon contains a small amount of white wine. The American version is made with brown mustard seed grown in Canada. History Maurice Gray, who was winning medals for his Dijon mustard machine in 1855, in 1860 was awarded a royal appointment for developing a machine that dramatically increased the speed of production of mustard. However, needing financing, which he obtained in 1866 from Auguste Poupon, another Dijon mustard manufacturer, the Grey Poupon Partnership produced their first mustard around 1866 in Dijon, France. In 1946, the Hoibline Company bought the American rights from the original company. In 1970, the directors of Grey Poupon and of another Dijon mustard firm, André Ricard, having earlier bought the popular mail label, formed a conglomerate called SEGMA Mail. Soon afterwards, the new company decided to phase out the Grey Poupon label in France. In America, R.J. Reynolds acquired Hoibline in 1982 and merged it with Nabisco in 1985 to form R.J.R. Nabisco. In 1999, Kraft Foods acquired Nabisco, including the Grey Poupon brand. Grey Poupon Dijon and Holgrain mustard are still produced in France for the European and Canadian markets. Production of Grey Poupon for the American market will move to Holland, Michigan from Pennsylvania, following Kraft Heinz's expansion of its 120-year-old Holland production facility. Marketing Advertising Hoibline increased the visibility and name recognition of their mustard brand with a 1980s commercial pointing out that, "...one can enjoy the finer things of life with white wine mustard without paying high prices." In which a Rolls Royce pulls up alongside another Rolls Royce, and a passenger in one asks, "...pardon me, would you have any Grey Poupon?" The other responds, "...but of course." The closing shot is of the Grey Poupon jar being passed between the vehicles. In one variation, the characters are on the Orient Express. The commercial spawned a number of variations, often comedic. A later version features Ian Richardson asking Paul Eddington if he has any Grey Poupon, to which Eddington replies, But of course! then motions for his driver to speed away. Another commercial included the introduction of a plastic squeeze jar, wherein the jar makes embarrassing noises while extracting the mustard. Much to the mortification of the driver, the advertising campaign helped solidify Grey Poupon's status as a product associated with the wealthy. In 1992, Grey Poupon had the strongest correlation between a person. S income and whether or not they used the product. In 2013, Grey Poupon created a new advertisement, playing upon the 1980s commercial, displaying a duel between the driver who took the Grey Poupon jar, played by British actor Fraser Douglas, being chased down by the mustard's original owner, played by Roy. The spot was nominated for an Emmy for Best Commercial. Brand extensions. In 2007, Grey Poupon Craft Company introduced three new specialty mustards, a coarse ground mustard with whole mustard seeds, a spicy brown mustard with diced yellow onions, and a honey mustard with clover honey and spices. In popular culture The Pardon me, would you have any Grey Poupon? Commercials have been parodied in many films and TV shows, including Wayne's World, 1992, Married with Children's Old Insurance Dodge, WWE Smackdown and Family Guy's Blue Harvest, September 23, 2007. The question was asked by Michael J. Fox's character, while preparing to eat a frog dog in the film The Hard Way, 1991. The Grey Poupon name has appeared frequently in hip-hop and rap lyrics since 1992, when Das EFX mentioned the brand on their song, East Coast. 
Artists such as Kanye West, Jay-Z, Kendrick Lamar, and T-Pain reference Grey Poupon on their songs because the brand is easy to rhyme and it illustrates the status of style, luxury, and class. See also List of mustard brands List of brand name condiments Male Dijon mustard References External links Malcolm Gladwell article describing the brand's rise in the USA YouTube video of the advertisement